Time for bed. Okay. Keeps you out so late. It's almost dark. Our plant ain't far out to the forest edge. Hi. So it's done then? Hi. The farms are seated. Are the boys asleep? Mm -hmm. Almost. Pray for us to prepare some. Hi. Rabbit. Oh, is it? From Jonathan's trap? No. It came into our house this afternoon. It was sitting in the corner with the most painless of it. That's a good sign walking in. It hurt my heart to skin her. Poor rabbit. It's well seasoned. I took great care. She's tender. Aye. I think we'll see Greenfield soon. It's warm as blood beneath the clouds. That's well. The crop is good up by George Jacobs Heifer. How would that please you? Aye, it would. I mean to please you, Elizabeth. I know it, John. This farm's a continent, and you go by foot by foot, dropping seeds in it. It must be. You ought to bring some of the flowers in the house. Oh, I forgot. I will tomorrow. It's winter in here yet. On Sunday, I'll let you come with me. We'll walk the farm together. I've never seen such a load of flowers on the earth. Lilacs have a purple smell. Lilac is the smell of nightfall, I think. Massachusetts is a beauty in the spring. so late, I thought you'd been in Salem. Why? I have no business in Salem. You did speak of going earlier this week. I've thought about it since. Mary Warren's there. Why'd you let her? You heard me forbid her go to Salem anymore. I couldn't stop her. It is a fault. It is a fault. <gasps> You're the mistress here, not Mary Warren. She frightened all my strength away. How may that mouse, mouse frighten you? You- She's a mouse no more. When I forbid her to go to Salem, she rose up her chin like a daughter of a prince and said I must go to Salem, Goody Proctor. Oh. I'm an official of the court. Court? What court? Aye, it is court proper now. They sent four judges out from Boston and at the head, the deputy governor of Providence. Why, she's mad. I would to God she is. There are 14 people in jail, she says, and they'll be tried, and the court has the power to hang, she says. They'd never hang. The deputy's promising a hanging if they don't confess, John. The town's gone wild. Abigail's bringing her friends to court, and when she walks apart to, across the court, they part like the sea for Israel. When folks go in front of her, they'll scream and shout and fall to the floor, and the people will be jailed for bewitching them. It is black mischief. I think you must go to court, John. I think so. I think you must tell them it's a fraud. Aye. It is. It is sure. Speak with Ezekiel Cheever. 
He knows you well. Tell him what she said to you last week at her uncle's house. She said it had not to do with witchcraft. Did she not? Aye. She did. She did. God forbid you keep this from the court, John. They must know. Aye. They must. They must. It is a wonder they do believe her. I would go now, John. Let you go tonight. I will think on it. You cannot keep it, John. I know I cannot keep it. I say I will think on it. Good. Then you think on it. I'm only wondering how I may prove what she told me, Elizabeth. If she's seen as a saint, it's going to be hard to prove her a fraud. This town has gone mad. What about the other people in the room? They'll testify, won't they? There were no other people in the room. There's no proof. You were alone in a room with her? 